Oh, the wind cleaver. Actually, dudes. Editor Drac, if you can find the sound effect, because I don't think I have it, if you can get the Metal Gear boing, you can... when somebody sees you, I <laughs> want that every time that Alex has been spotted. Oh, you can find that. Just... Yeah, but for free? Yeah. Okay, just... then, I'll, I'll, then I'll go find it. Just... And every time he gets spotted. Because I used it in a video of mine once. Oh, good. Okay. I wasn't sure, because Metal Gear is like... Uh, it's hard to find sound effects from it. Because at one point I wanted the Another thing you could it. another thing you can try, Alex, mm -hmm. is maybe after you distract that, maybe you can drop a bananas over the gate or something, and then maybe it'll find it and then sneak around the other way. Possibly. Okay, he's going that way. By it she means the guard. <laughs> I get it. Like, fun fact: when we play the when we play games together, we do it both. We both do it together. It's like, no, maybe I could go there and then there and then there. But what? Where were? You, where are you talking there? We actually have that happen. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think we people have even seen it on the stream. Like we've done it in the middle of Dark Souls. Speaking of, Alex, I beat Dark Souls. Hey, congratulations. I'm like, I beat the first So I wonder game. if you can drop it over the gate. Over the gate. I can't climb there. Okay. So we can't really throw the bananas. If we could, we could, it could run down that way and you can Why run around. Why don't you just do it the way that, that we did it? Which is, I, I so I, I dropped off some bananas like right at the corner mm -hmm. and then I just went around. That's what I was thinking. If you can just... Because that should give you enough time. There you go. See, okay. you can throw. Okay, you can toss him. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't notice. No, no, no. He, it, it needs to be close to him. Yeah. And, and within his field of vision. So. Can you can you shoot an arrow and it will distract it? And maybe you'll see the bananas? It'll just spot me. Well, if I mean, if you could throw from here, you're you're protected. Yep. There you go. Go quick. Go quick. <laughs> See ya. Oh, there's the ladder. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We're gonna go get some more bananas. We're gonna get a ton of bananas. It's gonna be out the like DK's horde in here. Indeed, that's what I'm saying. The 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 leader of the Yiga clan is Donkey Kong. Must be. That's that's how he got the banana horde. <clears throat> it makes sense. Link decided. All the bananas. Link All the bananas. Decided to steal from Donkey Kong. I like bananas. <clears throat> oh, th so this is something that a another listener wanted to ask specifically of Alex. Were you disappointed when you saw the news about Platonic? About oh, they're not working on a Banjo Kazooie yes. game. Uh, I won't say disappointed just because I didn't hear about it until it was already confirmed that they weren't doing there, it. The, some people were saying that there was, um, apparent because of, uh, impossible lair that they may have opened relations with Microsoft and ergo would be able to work on a banjo kazooie game. I, but, Damn, fuck. There's nothing on paper. Like the, there's, there's nothing official to announce. And I think. It would be a Switch exclusive. I, I think in all honesty, Microsoft might be okay with it, but I don't know if Platonic wants to actually make uh, a, a Banjo-Kazooie game. I think uh -huh. they like ukulele right now. Yeah, I think that's probably what they'd want to stick with right now. Yeah, I, I think the Baron Bird are, are kind of not on their radar. Ow. Ooh. Beware the fool. Be blah, blah, blah. Well, I hate to do this, Alex, but uh, we're out of time. But I failed too much. I come this far and God damn it, I hate these stupid ninja guys. Yes, yes. That's okay. We all do. We all hate the Yiga clan. All right. This time I mean it. We're really going to do it. Really going to do it. I'm going to put my stealth skills to the test. Gonna going to take all the lessons I've learned. Hideo Kojima, do not fail me now. Editor Drac, go ahead and put in some Metal Gear music to, to accompany the speech that he just gave. It's got to be the original Metal Gear music. <laughs> oh, no, I, I'm going to give you like the dun 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 You know, like the the rapid one, because that, that was how inspirational that was to me. I'm going to give you the good music. 
I can't give you any. See, the, the problem is, is that you want the original, and that, that's like the, the lyric one. Can't do that. That one will get us, get us in trouble. The lyric one? Oh, yeah. You didn't know that? Oof. I'm like, talking all about... Of the, all of the main themes, or the, the intro themes, uh, are all sung. I'm talking about, like, the first OG Metal Gear game. <laughs> you want that dun, 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 yeah. dun, dun, dun. The theme of Terra, as it's called. <laughs> okay, I can do that. I'll see if I can track it down. <clears throat> All right, welcome back to Metal Gear Link. I could just... But Colonel, I was saving those bananas for myself. I know, Snake, but you don't need the potassium. They do. Damn it. Now how am I gonna get- how am I gonna get my potassium goodness? Can I get them through cigarettes? <laughs> no, Snake. In fact, you're no longer allowed to smoke. <laughs> Snake, what happened? What is going on with you? Snake! Snake! <laughs> We're good. <laughs> <laughs> we might as well have fun with it because, I mean, we, we are... Like, we still have one more Kojima game to go, Alex, but then we are into the Solid series, and then at that point, like, get ready for the Popcorn Bowl to be the controller, because it's it's going to be basically Kojima's new mentality of, like, games should be cinematic movie experience. Yeah. Oh, oh, did I see a little guy? Did I, did I see a little guy? Maybe I saw some bananas? Did I see some bananas? I think I did. I think I saw some bananas. Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Run for it! Run for it! Wrong way. Uh, <laughs> don't don't, no, climb, no, don't no, climb the wall, Link! <laughs> yes, please. Sh don't, chill don't out, Link. <laughs> Look, Link, I know you're excited. We all are. We made it past the first room, but this is not the time to go climb the walls randomly. Otherwise, we're going to have a lot of problems now. So, welcome everybody. So welcome many back. bananas! So many. It's Donkey Kong's horde. I'm kind of surprised you didn't find a, uh, as Andrea puts it, gold banana. Topaz. Because that's how you put it the other night. I can't remember what we were playing, but you were just like, gold banana. We were playing Odyssey. Oh no, Odyssey. We, we were playing Odyssey, and that's when you did it. Like, I got a multi-moon, and she's like, Gold banana. <laughs> well, that's what it just looks like. <laughs> <clears throat> so, welcome back. Happy Monday, everybody. We hope everybody's having an awesome week thus far. I'm not sure if this is going to be going up pre- or post-holiday, so we're just going to assume that you've had all the turkey you can possibly muster, and you've gotten all the presents that you could possibly ask for, all that stuff. And did, did you get what you wanted? Good, 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 good. Rising Sun, I see that you got the anime you wanted. Don't be, don't be greedy. Don't be greedy or, or Alex is gonna throw you into the volcano. <laughs> you know how that felt. He's gonna see you. No, don't, don't give me that look, Rising Sun. You, you march up to your room. March, march. Dun, dun, Insert dun, Wind Waker dun, 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 music yeah. with the. You can put in the Wind Waker music where. Was there music playing in that section? Yeah, it's like all sneaky and when. Oh, yeah. And then it goes. Yeah, dun, okay. dun, when you gotta like hide. <laughs> I'll see if I can track it down. Again, this is all depending on whether or not I can find the tracks. Because I don't think I have the full Wind Waker soundtrack. I think I have one song from it, which cool. is the one that I, that care, that I care about. He's like, I'm just gonna... so great that he can clip through the barrel, right? <laughs> yeah, that is the power of the Yiga. We can clip through shit. So I guess the first question that I need to take care of, Alex, because I did notice it on your on your switches dashboard. Oh, yeah. Are you are you horribly offended about Pokemon Sword? Are you never going to play Pokemon ever again? We already established. I don't care that much. <laughs> See, here, actually, th this comes back to a, a question that we kind of wished we could have asked you when we played Sword for the first time. Because uh, you played the later gens. I mean, you you missed a few, but you played like Gen 6, you played Gen 7, and now you're playing Sword. D did they start to slowly, like, incorporate more hand-holding over those games? Yeah, I'd say okay. they have in the more recent games, which is... That's the one kind of annoying factor, is... The, it's becoming very, very easy to 
to like max out your levels before even the end game. Well, that's not what, what we even meant. Like the, the thing that threw us off, because we only played up until we met. Well, yeah. um, the dude is just stuck. I know, here. right? Um, <laughs> you had no choice. I know. That, that's you the thing that move. sucked. <laughs> you wouldn't uh, move. This was his fault, not yours. Ow, this son of a bitch. See if you can get up the ladder and, and move to another room. Ow. I have literally tried, like, oh! There we go. Maybe if we can get to another room, then... Is there even another way to get into... Oh, is that a chest? Yeah, it is. <laughs> What's in here? Which we can't grab it. Topaz, oh, alright. Okay. I'll take it. If we die, we, we keep it, right? Uh, it I, can't, I can't remember if in the stealth sections everything resets. Uh, I think you keep your loot. I don't know, actually. Maybe it does reset, because I know I got, like, the chest and the bananas are all back. So. Well, if you die, you can check and see if your count is still the same or not. So let, let me double, let, let me just kind of go over this with you, Alex. I'm going to help out. Um, we got to the point where we unlocked the Dynamaxing. Right. Um, so we met with the 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 professor of this uh, region, and one of the things we kind of noticed, like usually in a Pokemon game, at you least might as well not waste your food. Like, I know, but Gen I'm one through three, don't want to die either. You'd start off and you'd get like a bunch of normal type Pokemon. Like you, you'd have to wait until you got into other areas to get other types, right? We walked out of like the first two routes with six Pokemon of different types and having abilities in those types. So like we walked away with a dark type, a water type, an electric type. Um, I th did we no, we didn't have a fire type, but we did have, we like we picked um, Grookey and I was just like floored. I'm like sitting there going, wow, I've never had this happen in a Pokemon game. We have all these different types. They are literally tutorialing us through battles. Yeah. And showing us like everything we could possibly do there. And now I guess uh, sharing XP is not necessarily helped by an item. It's yeah. now just distributed, except the one that was out gets more. Yeah, that's how it's going in this one at least. So it's just like, I'm not, I'm, okay. Before people jump down my throat and say I'm I'm mocking it, and I'm saying that it should be more herd cur, which I'm going against my beliefs, right, Alex? <laughs> yes. That's not my problem. It was just shocking that they did that. That they they did so much hand holding at the beginning, and who knows? Maybe, maybe it stops near the end. May, I mean, that's that's possible. But I was I was just kind of kind of shocked by that. I mean, I can see that there's a little bit of a plot going on. But the fact that I, like, I had so many different types already from the get-go, you can see the Pokemon in the gra in, in the bushes, so you can literally like poke them out. Yeah, that's a thing from the newer games. From well, that actually be not newer, but that actually is a thing from in Let's Go Eevee. Mm -hmm. oh. um, and the, fuck! Oh, and the assholes. Other, the other thing that, that floored me was okay. So the the game has never, at least Gen one through three, never gave you Pokeballs when you when you learn how to catch Pokemon. You had to go buy them, or or it may it may have given you like five. This Oops. game literally in the first little bit of that tutorial gave me thirty Pokeballs. Yeah, it does. It gives you a, a ton of Pokeballs. And like normally in a Pokemon game, you would start off with like what two thousand Poke dollars. This thing starts you off at thirty thousand. Like you're not hurting at all in this game. I I mean, fine if that's if that's the way they want to go about it. I was just shocked that that was the the angle that Game Freak has decided to go. I I mean, fine. Like that that's what they want to do with it. And actually, you know what? In retrospect, that might be a good idea because JRPGs are becoming more of a niche thing. And it's hard, it's hard to find a JRPG that isn't, like, built for the hardcore. So at that point, maybe it's a good idea to have Sword and Shield be this handholdy to get you into it. Yeah, I suppose. I don't know. I, like, I'm, I'm very interested in playing through Sword and Shield and just seeing, like, what's different. I especially love that <clears throat> um, there was a criticism about, about the graphics um, in one of the live streams I watched. And I'm just like... What's wrong with the graphics? I mean, 
that's our... this, this looks just as good as is let's go and and sun and moon and x and y i guess because that's the the problem is people thought they were going to be like all new models and they're technically last gen I, yeah. I could have told you they weren't going to be new models because that would mean extra work. Yeah. They were already developing how many how many new Pokemon in this one? I don't know. Probably not that many. Well, enough. Uh, where where you know that that's where your your art team needs to be. They also had to design Galar. They had to design the gym leaders, including the controversial Nessa. Oh my gosh, that's going to be the Nessa's going to be the one thing that everybody remembers from this from this game and it's not even Nessa's fault. It's because so many so many girls love Nessa and they they decide to either draw her differently or cosplay as her and and Twitter has a meltdown over it. Like did you see the recent one? No. A girl a, a girl made a cosplay of Nessa. Ah. So, so she's wearing like the same bikini that she wears. She right. made the shoes and all that. Except here's the problem: the girl was white. Of course. And immediately Twitter just came down on her. And oh, like I, I saw terms I have not seen used since the '90s. Whew. Um, because there, because people were calling her a slut. People were calling her a prude. People were calling her racist. It was like. Wow. These people have nothing better to do. Yeah, no kidding, right? Um, but that's why I'm saying, like, Ness is going to be the one, one of the biggest things that's remembered from Sword and Shield. And it's not because Ness is an amazing trainer or an amazing gym leader encounter. It's because of all the controversy that surrounded her. Yeah. Um, which is it's just kind of dumb in a weird way. Uh, so th there you go. Um, are you liking Sword so far? Yeah, it's okay. I I probably liked it as I liked it probably as much as I liked Sun and Moon. Although I'll admit I didn't finish I didn't finish Moon. Mm. I well, put, you're farther than me. <laughs> I put the game because it's like the thing was I put the game down for a little while because because mm -hmm. I got kind of busy with other stuff, so I didn't have much time to play. And at some point, I just kind of forgot where I was, what I was supposed to do. <laughs> and I just like never went back to I, it. I just never went back because I yep. don't. I don't want to start. Don't you hate that moment in, in like with an RPG? You forget everything that you were doing because it's been like a month, and so it's just like I might as well start over. I either I, I should just quit or start over because I don't remember where I am. Yeah, and the problem is I don't want to start over because it's mm -hmm. got a really sloggy tutorial section. Oh, it does it? Okay. Yeah, it, it has like a. I, I'll <clears throat> give Sword that it doesn't force you into a really long tutorial. Oh, it, so you're saying Sun and Moons is worse? Yeah. Okay. Because it actually is like a let's stop and have a tutorial <laughs> kind of deal. Oh, too many Christmas. Okay. Which is like, well, I'll, I'll get there when I get there because I mean, eventually I I do plan on playing <sighs> Gen four through eight. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna play Sword just immediately. Oh, and spotted. <laughs> God. This, this is kind of the harder room. I remember we had a couple of attempts at it. Because you, you've got to work things out so that you can you can try and get that guard, guard away with some bananas. But I think the best way to do it, Alex, is actually just to do it from the roof. Yeah, that's what I'm trying, but I keep falling down here. I can't get like a... Can't get like a good angle. Yeah. Hi. That, Bye. I guess the next game experience I should probably bring up to you, Alex, and, and this is going to be utter blasphemy uh, coming from my mouth, considering, considering how much we have bad mouth EA. But uh, okay, apparently this guy didn't know I was here. <laughs> oh well, there you go. Um, so Jedi Fallen Order, it's pretty freaking good. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. Oh, I'm glad. I'm pretty freaking satisfying, actually. Um, so, so the funniest part about this whole thing, and I, I kind of mentioned this to you, to you already, it incorporates a lot of engines, but its combat is specifically based off of Dark Souls. Right. So, like, if you, if, and also it's safe, it's safe system. So you, you will find points of like where you can meditate, but as soon as you stop meditating, all the enemies have respawned. So you right. have that, but then you also have like this really cool Uncharted experience for, for storytelling. And then uh, the other thing that I found interesting was they, they borrowed Metroid Prime's maps, map system. 
So like having this fully 3D map that you can move around and be able to see like, okay, you can go here, you can go there, all that. So it's interesting how much of an amalgamation has, has come out of this, but <sighs> do, you, do you want to know the sad reality here is, Alex? What? EA won't learn. Yeah, of course they won't. They will find a way to patch in microtransactions for this game, or if it gets a sequel, which I have been told at the end, it sets up for one. Um, if they if they do get a sequel, they will find a way to put multiplayer in it and therefore microtransactions. Yeah. They will find a way to do it, and that's the saddest reality out of that.